Today we're going to talk about orchestrating a zero-touch app release with uh, a couple tools that you want to familiarize yourself with, HashiCorp's Terraform and Console, and F5's uh, automation tool chain, specifically the uh, AS3, Application Services 3. And so let's look at like a traditional application. You have a client that comes into a big IP, and then gets sent to a service. Let's say one of three services. So that's service A. And so when this is deployed in a traditional infrastructure, the web team has to give you the IP addresses of these services and port. Let's say they're all the same port. And then you need to build a pool with pool members with that information. And you need to establish some profiles, maybe a snap pool or auto map. And then you're going to build out your virtual server. And of course, you could also have with profiles, you know, your um, security policies or, or whatever. So, you know, in a traditional um, app deployment, there's a lot of manual work here. And every time this changes, then you have to manually update everything. So what we want to do is take all the manual work out of that. So let's look at a couple tools here. And one of them is HashiCorp's Terraform. And this is for orchestrating a build out like this. And you build configuration files in HashiCorp's uh, HCL, the HashiCorp uh, configuration language. And you, know, you establish effectively a template for what all this looks like uh, at a configuration level. But also you could use it from an infrastructure level. And so for the purposes of what we're going to build out here, let's assume that the Terraform is going to do a couple things. First, it's going to build out the infrastructure. And so whether it's AWS or Google Compute or Azure, or maybe even in your own local VMware instance or KVM infrastructure, you know, it's going to build that out. So it will defor it will look at your configuration and it will um, build out whatever plugins it needs to be able to speak to those services. So abstracting all of that, let's just get our big IP deployed and let's say we're going to be highly available there. And then it's also going to build out our services. So S1, S2, S3, and then it's going to dynamically create these IPs, so we don't really know what they are, nor do we particularly care. And the reason we don't care is because in addition to this infrastructure, we're going to deploy something called console. And so we got a console server here, and this is another HashiCorp tool. And specific to this demo, we're really concerned about service discovery. Console does more than that. You can read about it, but we're going to look at service discovery. And so agents, when we deployed our infrastructure um, declaration, then there's an agent running on these. And so when these get spun up, it notifies the console server that it exists, so it registers here. And so now I have a little service pool specific to whatever I deployed. And I have in that pool IP1, IP2, and IP3. So then with Terraform, I can then deploy an app service. And so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send AS3 to Big IP. And this is an RPM that gets installed on the Big IP. So AS3 now sits here. 
And what that allows me to do is I have a little REST interface that accepts declarations from whatever tool you want to use. In this case, we're going to use Terraform. And so once it has AS3 deployed, then it can send the declaration for the app service. And so, you know, wherever your Terraform box is, let's say we got a little Linux box out here, we've deployed the infrastructure, we've deployed AS3, and now we're gonna send the declaration to Big IP. And so, once that declaration is there, Big IP is going to go through that declaration, and in that declaration, we have defined that, hey, for the pool members for this application, I want you to check with the console registry. So, Big IP makes a call, a call down to the console service, and it returns the details from this service pool, and then it then goes through and builds out that uh, builds out that declaration as an app service. And now that app service deployed, now you can take your client, make calls to Big IP, and then come back to your services or your servers for service, and everybody's happy. Now, the great thing about the zero touch of this is that say this isn't enough scale, then you wanna you wanna scale it up. Then somebody can you know say, hey, I know I have two servers or three servers there. I really need six servers for the for the amount of um, servers that are the amount of uh, traffic that I have. So you know you can make that decision, and those three additional ones will get built out. They as well have agents who register. And then AS3 can then discover that, oh, I've got additional services in my service pool. Because we've extended this out to IP4, 5, and 6. And then those get added into the configuration. And then now your scale is there. So, you know, this is tremendously compelling stuff. If you haven't got it, gotten started with automation of any kind, there's a demo for this that you can go out to GitHub, download, play with it. I'll point you to that as well as an hour-long demo where they go into more details about all of this. The um, nuances of uh, Terraform and console, what it brings you, AS3 and what it brings you. And so watch the demo, download the, the bits from GitHub, start playing, and uh, you'd be glad that you did. So if you enjoyed this video, please click subscribe, and I'll see you out there in the community.